Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Raven Razorclaw. I was watching some Russell Brand um, earlier through the week, and I seen that NATO is actually the uh, prerequisite to the war because Putin sent over uh, a treaty saying do not expand NATO, do not continually put... And they he wanted them to actually remove NATO from some countries, which I would have just wrote a counter-treaty and said, well, we won't expand into Ukraine, but we're going to keep our existing NATO allies, allies, and we could have had some kind of peaceful talks over that without the invasion of Ukraine and without all this other stuff going on. Like, I feel, feel that America has designated Russia as an enemy and made them into an enemy, and uh, I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like the, the bloodshed, the, the chaos, the war, the hell that's ensuing between Ukraine and Russia and... Our political systems over here are failing and our voices aren't being heard accurately. People do not want war. People don't want anything to do with that. Uh, it's the political leaders that are looking to um, aggravate and fuel the fire of flames of war. And uh, we need some kind of new technology or system to be able to govern ourselves and to accurately hear our voices. We need some kind of app that for each country gives a poll each day or for new questions each day on what the country wants to do and all the situations and the things that we're facing to vote on so that we can give accurate readings on what people actually want to do based on a people basis, not by in a government doing what it wants freely and just giving taxpayers dollars to wherever it wants to, regardless of what the people want or a clear consensus of what the people want. That's not a democracy. A democracy is for the people, of the people, by the people. And we don't have that. We have uh, a, like a dictatorship where somebody gets elected. People elect an official to, to, for their voice, but all the issues after that are just made by that official or by the governing staff. It's not voted upon radically on each choice on where we want to put our taxpayers' dollars or how we want to make decisions in the future with each choice or each issue that we face, global or in, uh, domestic. So I think that we need a new app. We could call it Of the People, For the People, By the People, and we could have it so that you could vote upon issues every single day on your government and what's going on with your government and what you, what you want the people to actively do together. And uh, I think that would be a revolution if we could have some kind of um, secure, safe way to vote upon different issues throughout uh, the day so that we, um, we have a, a clear guiding line on what we want to do as a people, as a country. And, uh, you know, I used to think that because Russia invaded Ukraine, they were the sworn enemy, but it, like the more I learn about Russia and, and their stance and, and how they've tried to uh, interact with the U S and talk to them, and how America is, sees uh, commies in their soup, basically, I, 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 I don't get it. I don't get the whole paranoia or fantasy on Russia. Uh, I mean, I used to like Putin quite a bit before he invaded Ukraine, and I used to think he was a pretty cool guy, going hunting and fishing and shooting uh, sniper rifles and stuff. I thought that was a cool thing, but uh, we'll just have to see how it plays out. I hope for no more bloodshed. I hope Zelensky and Putin... Uh, lay this to rest and we can come for a peaceful uh, alliance and go back to doing the boring shit that we used to do, that would be nice. Anyways, guys, that's my thoughts. Thanks. Peace.